Hey YouTube, this is Radiant Jet. Um, just wanted to show something I recently got. Um, it's a United Cutlery machete, as you can see by the box. Um, I have to say lately, there a lot of their new stuff they've been coming out with has been a lot better quality. Um, I know I've bought a lot of their stuff in their past, and it was total junk, and I, ne I never bought any of their stuff ever again, until probably about, hmm, I'll say about a year and a half ago, when I saw they first came out with that uh, Tactical Wagasashi. That's actually a very good blade. I'm actually going to, I already did a review on it, but I'm going to do an actual testing review with it soon. Um, yeah, but a lot more than that. I've actually bought a lot more than knives, and, uh, they, they are way better quality, but it also depends on what you buy. So, I don't buy any of the movie prop stuff. I really don't like that. It's just a waste of money. But, um, this, um, I think on Amazon, I bought this on Amazon, but I only bought it with a gift card. I didn't want to spend the money for it. I mean, it is kind of expensive. It's about seventy dollars, and uh, I know you can get free shipping on Amazon with it. But I had a gift card, so I used the gift card and I got this. So let me show it to you. I mean, look at this. Look at this Molly sheath. And it it snaps. There, it's not Velcro. And you can actually snap it on the side. So I mean, I mean, and this this is good nylon. This is very well made. I mean, this is good quality stuff. And then on the inside, of the, the sheath. Let me see if I can take it out. Ah, I don't know if I can take that out because this is actually that hard type nylon. But inside here, it's there's like a plastic, um, it's like a plastic insert for the blade, so you have extra protection for it. And there's a pocket right here. You can actually have like a, like a sharpening stone. But I actually have um a cold steel hideout in there. I love this thing. This thing's awesome. But it fits perfectly in there, so I keep it in there. All right, let's show the blade. Alright, look now. Look at this. Full tang construction. 420A steel. I know it's it's uh, soft steel, but I mean this is a machete. It's considered a machete. So, um, a lot of people I see online that leave comments say that this is a finger groove and that they put their finger in there and blah 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 but that is not a finger groove that's more of like for cutting line or you know cutting something like that I mean I've even been able it's, it's easy to actually um I've done it with it uh like trim the end of a, a stick to a point I mean this actually makes it easy to do this is super sharp I mean you can sharpen it more I can sharpen it more if I want to, but it's not a finger groove. So, the blade from tip to tip, all together, it's about seven, but, uh, no, almost one missing, seven, 17.75 inches. Um, I actually wish it was just probably a little bit longer, but, I mean, this thing is really easy to wield. I actually have a light coat of um, mineral oil on it, so to keep the blade in good condition. And then you can see, like the like the I'm not tiger stripes. I'm not really sure what to call it, but it's uh, titanium electroplated. But I really think that the blade looks really cool. But this is a functional functional machete. I mean. This is solid. It is really thick too. 
I can see that in the camera. Let me see. Yeah, it's pretty thick. Handle is. Uh, it's like a plastic material. I'm not quite sure. But usually when I use this, I wear a glove with it. I try not to use it with my bare hands. Because when you hit, this this will hurt. You need like a padded glove. But it feels good in the hand. Easy to wield. So, when I do the um, cutting demonstration with the Wagasashi, I'll, I'll, do, I'll probably do one with this too. Right now I'm just showing the blades so people can actually see it and get a better idea before they buy it. So, I mean, it's 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 an excellent machete. But I think 70 bucks is a bit much for it. And uh they also have a few other uh, two other machete type blades, but and they're serrated, but I didn't want the serrated serrated blades. So, um if I ever get another gift card I'll probably buy those too, but yeah. United Cuddler has been doing a better job, so. Alright, so I just wanted to show you that. Have any questions? Just uh, drop me a line in the comments. Bye.